What's up everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to more from his commentary playthrough of Death Stranding. So now we have to expand the chiral network and cross the tar belt. So we're mm. really starting to get close to the final chapter of this game. We're going to have to head down towards this area. But there is still a fair bit of work to do. But I feel like the end is kind of in sight here. So let's see. Orders, Cairo Relay. So we're going to go all the way over here and take 150 kilograms worth of stuff. Okay. And well, there's there's fog, there's there's BTs, and there's a risk of falling. So we'll try. I'll have to take stock of uh, my situation. So for now, I'll just move along, and we'll load it all onto there. Okay. okay, back, right, how are we doing? Okay, yeah, we got some we got some things that we need to do here, so let me quickly do this first. One thing I noticed is that my my lights haven't really come in in the previous session, I think I ended at 148, and it's still at 148 at the moment, but we'll have to see. Uh, recycle... I'm not really sure to what extent we're, we're going to need these, but I might wear them. I might not wear them right now, and then put them on when if that like there's a snowstorm and that kind of thing. So we'll see. So recycle all of this and then restock a bit. Okay. So here's the situation. We got um, got plenty of container repair spray. We've got some grenades if we need it. Uh, I've got a bowler gun, a shotgun, and an assault rifle, which should suffice. I've got my all-terrain skeleton, which is still doing pretty well. Fresh boots and the stuff I need to repair the, the relay set unit or location or whatever it's called. Some ladders, oxygen masks, climbing anchor, all that good stuff. So I think I'm ready to go. I might see if I can check in Thank with uh, Hartman one last time. There you go, there's my likes. Made it past 150,000. That's nice to see. But, can't open the door. Fine. Okay. Um, I'm wondering if I should do another thing where I take a car or well, truck and get as far as I can. And then and then make it to the relay center but cuz it is kind of fun to try and go through this terrain with a vehicle and we have coverage for quite some time okay but you can't fabricate vehicles and there isn't really one nearby so there isn't too much we can do right now I was hoping to bring one here, but I got stuck very close, and that, that vehicle probably destroyed. So. Ah, okay. Well, this isn't enough. I won't be able to carry everything. And if I load it on my back, it'll be ridiculous. Uh, will it factor the nearby? No. There's no way we're carrying all of this stuff. Yeah, it's over 200 kilograms, so we're going to be um, overweight anyway. So I'm going to have to give it a miss. If there was a truck, I would have taken it, but I can't do it with this. Right. So I think we're actually headed this way. 2,200. Oh, that's a long way. Okay, well, let's make a start. Wait, why are my batteries charged? Let's quickly do that. I think I'll do a bit of my usual here and put, like, a generator of my own. A 
if I haven't already. I don't think I did. Let's just do that. Do have an APCC. Got some network coverage though, that's nice. I think at this stage, because of what we have to carry, um, I'll put one here so you get a nice little double boost again. So I think I've got enough for a zip line as well, in case I want to make one later. Because I feel like I might need one for the way back. Right. Hmm. Alright. So we've got a zip line here, and I will try to, to build one here. So that once I have the chiral relay, if I don't need to carry anything heavy, and I need to go back, then I've got a zipline network to take me there. So let's see how it goes. Yeah, here come the, here come the snow. I mean, I could mess around and like put a bunch of it on my back, take a zipline, all that stuff, but. We'll do it the old-fashioned way. A lot of time for shelters being built, which is nice. I do wonder at what stage some of the earlier stuff I built is going to get destroyed. I remember building some nice bridges and stuff, but it's, it's very busy here, so I, pro I wouldn't be able to find it very easily, I think, even if I tried. So I'm not. <laughs> Maybe that's why I've got a little bit of chiral network coverage, because something I built got destroyed. So obviously this makes no difference to you guys' experience in this, but um, I finally managed to get a new TV for my room in the UK, so I've had the same TV for about 10 years or so. And it served me very well, so I love my TV. But uh, obviously this year I've been trying to make a push to, to start playing more in 4K, uh, trying to hopefully create more content in 4K and all that kind of stuff. And of course to do that you need a 4K TV. I had the monitor in Turkey sorted, so I got the, the 4K going on there. But in the UK I was, uh, I was still rocking old technology. So I finally got a new TV in, and it's a little bit bigger than the old one as well. It's a little bit oversized my desk, but... Boy, oh boy, does it look nice. So I'm getting to enjoy Death Stranding. Well, not in 4K currently. I don't have a device that can play it in 4K yet. But in terms of being on the big screen and stuff, it does look really, really nice. Hopefully I'm going to get a recording device that can pass through in 4K and still allow me to record in 1080. For at least the rest of Death Stranding. Hopefully when we get to new releases on the PS4 Pro, I'll be trying to go 4K. Alright, now back to some good old fashioned. To be honest, I still like just the old throwing hematic grenades at him. Because at least that way you throw it on him and you know that that one is dead. Still got two kilometers. That's a very long distance. How big is this cloud? It's not too big, fortunately. Am I being blind? There it is. Uh, okay, I think some of them are only like partially visible. Not hearing any or seeing any steps yet. The handprints, but I call them steps. Right, I think we're managing. There it is. Well, I can't 
throw fire enough, really. Why? It's right here. Wow, okay. That should clear the path. One thing I haven't done is sneak up to one of them and cut the cord. But I don't have the balls for that right now. That one's quite far. Just going to keep pushing forwards right now. here. Oh, did I get two in one? Nice. I certainly did. Got another one there. I do kind of want to use a shotgun. <laughs> but I think there's a second one there which could get me in a bit of trouble. Yeah. Right, I think we did enough. But you do have to be very close for the shotgun to work, unsurprisingly. I thought maybe as soon as it went red, that meant you're within range to take it out in one hit, but that wasn't the case. So some of them are almost invisible. Like, there's one here, but you can basically only partially see it. Very odd. I think it's because they're kind of buried under the snow. did. Either that's a different kind of B BT. I'm not quite sure. It's weird. I think we should be out of the, the, the BT zone soon. How are we doing? Okay, not too bad. Almost out of the woods. Far enough away that we should be okay. We can always fabricate some more of this stuff at the, the Evo Devo place. I feel like I can see something being restored there. It's like glowing, but there we go. Okay, that's better. All right, let's go. There we go. Lou's giving me five likes. Thank you, Lou. Now, we're going to pass pretty close by. I think if we pass by close enough, I will make a stop there. Remember to do the good old grip. Even though I've got the all-terrain thing on, I'll probably still fall badly. 
if I don't have it. If I don't grip. The um, Ammonite with the umbilical cord and mass extinctions. Wow, someone built that right there in front of me? I don't think I've ever seen that before. That can't be a draw distance thing. I guess we'll be able to tell from the likes what it is. Okay, maybe it is a, a draw distance slash online thing. It's probably not draw distance, but it's just onlineness. So it did kind of materialize before my eyes. It's a shame I used up two container thingies. Go. What again? Really? Dude, I basically made it out. Also, where was the last zip line? There it is. Because it looks like there's no um, there's no BTs for the rest of the journey. I'm just I'm not I probably won't make a stop. See, so yeah, I tried to like it and it just didn't work. When you're on the move, especially, there's no way to connect. Slow down. Yeah, I was gonna say this might be a kind of good place to do something like that. Let me give people to keep on keeping on. Stamina situation. It's difficult out here. Okay, we're basically right there. Online bridge. Generator. Okay. I think I'll probably go to the generator in order to get my battery back. Oh, there's that tall neck. His head looks like a time fall shelter. And there's a truck here, to be honest. I could make a, a run for the ending with a truck. There we go. Yeah. I still don't understand these bridges. I'll be honest, like why that bridge gets 41,000 likes. I can't see what purpose it really serves. I mean, it it lands you in the mid, at, at the base of this like mountainous part that you can't even drive up, so I don't really understand it, but maybe they know a trick that I don't. It's like, yay, someone built a bridge, any bridge, anywhere, it doesn't matter. Like, this is much more worthy of a like. Okay, so I'm going to try and load up onto this truck and see how far we can get with it. I always love doing that. Give we'll that truck a like. Oh, I can... Oh, I didn't know I could do that. What? Is that... Ah, oh, on that same... I can give him 80 likes at once? What the hell? Is that always like that? Damn. Okay, well... You get 80 likes, man. All right, let's go. Cool. Let's get in. So I'm pretty. Sh I feel like I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to return here at some point. I mean, there is what looks like a kind of road path here. This could go horribly wrong. It looks very steep, but we'll have to see. We should take it slowly. So, like this bridge, this bridge might be better. Oh, 
we go. That's the bridge that I can get behind. Three, three, one. I feel like I'd have to I'd have to build two zip lines in order to get all the way across here. But I'll try to get to, to this sort of area first and then we'll have a look. This used to be a BT zone, I'm kind of hoping it isn't anymore. Nice terrain though. This is a cool bridge just because it goes over this like natural smoky bit. That's pretty cool. That's a view right there. Nice. I don't, we definitely don't have 497,000 for one bridge. Yeah, this is a bit of a problem as well. This could end badly. But I've got my assault rifle, I guess. <laughs> Straight through. Let's see how accurate they are with their fucking shot things. Okay. I think I'm alright. The music's making it seem more dramatic than it is. Nicely done. Easy now. Hmm. Ah, okay. This is the kind of peak that I want to get to, so... Let me hold up a sec over here. Slow down. Just wondering, is there enough of a handbrake to keep it here? Yes. Alrighty. Actually, one thing I can do... I don't need the, the thermal things anymore. Yeah, drain my battery for no reason. Now, where is the next zip line? It is pretty much where I'm looking. Let's try and get to higher ground and see what we can do. I get a PCC. I do have one. Okay, good. Hmm. Come on, let's get this show on the road. Wait, is the implication that there's still someone trying to chase me down? not possible, right? Hmm. We went full mountain ox mode, but it's not enough. I feel like if we're gonna make our way back, this could be very useful. So I'm investing a little bit of extra time to try and get up here. I can. It's a nasty peak to try and reach. But I think we can do it. Although I need to stop for a sec before I completely lose it. There we go. Just 
keeps going up and up and up. Come on, let's get this show on the Right. I guess I'm still not high enough to see the other zip line. Wow, it's 779 meters away from me? Really? Ah, shit. Well, then even if I wanted to, I couldn't reach it anyway. 611. Yeah, you'd have to build like three to get across. Shit. Damn, okay. I was looking at the wrong map. Okay, well, that was a little bit of a waste of time. But hey, we got to this peak and we got a nice view. I guess that's something. Now we just got to make our way down. The power of editing. This is really, really steep. This is really high up. It's cool though. I mean, it's high enough that you really do get that altitude feeling. Like when you look down from a plane or something. Uh, this could end badly if I go here. But I'm going to... I'm not going to risk that. I'm going to try and go back the way I came. Yeah, this is better. The last thing I need to do right now is roll down a hill and die. Okay. So that was a kind of pointless detour. We got a nice view, but it wasn't what I thought it was. But I think I can use my vehicle to go the entire rest of the way, which is nice. But we've got supercell happenings here as well. Special alloys. Where's them ceramics, man? I saw a ceramics 160 while I was out and about, but that was it. Haven't heard a silent poets one for a little while. Sam, you should be nearing the old building site. Look for the terminal and submit your materials for processing. Level trust issue. giving you guys a chance to hear the song. I always love stuff like this. Oh wow, that's really all that's left. Okay. I thought I was heading more deeper into this part of it, but wow. Sam, you need to get those materials. 
materials processed in order to finish the Cairo relay. There we go. 